Hello everyone! Today we will be converting exponential form to its equivalent logarithmic form. So, by the way, instead of um, saying the word logarithm or logarithmic, we just use the word log and that would represent the logarithmic form. Okay, so let's have an example here. So, if we have this expression right here, this is actually read as log base b of y. So log base b of y. So this is the process on how to convert exponential to logarithmic form. So if we have a b to the power x is equal to y, we can convert it to its logarithmic form as log b of y equals x. Now let's have an example to better see um, how we convert one to the other. So let's take this first example right here. So I covered the rest so we don't get overwhelmed. So let's start with the first one. So let's see if this would make sense. So if you have seven to the exponent three, it's actually 343. Now let's change this to its logarithmic form. So um, just, a, just a reminder how we set it up. So the b is gonna go here, the x is gonna go here, and the y is gonna go inside the parentheses. So in this example, I can go ahead and write this as log of, 340, log, that's log base 7 of 343 is equal to 3. Okay, so that is the logarithmic version for this. Now let's see if this logarithmic version is correct. So I'm going to set it up on the calculator. Does it really equal to, um, does it really equal to 3? So I'll set it up here. So I have the base is 7 and then inside the parentheses is 343. Let's see if that is equal to three, and that is equal to three. Okay, so let's take the next one right here. How do we set this up back to its exponential form? So here, this would be two to the power four is equal to 16. That makes sense, because if you have two times two is four, Four times two is eight, eight times two is 16. Now if we have like a, a, an expression that looks like this, so this would be log base eight of 13 equals h plus k. So we just have to rearrange it in order that we can change one to the other. Now let's take some examples where we are going to solve for x. Okay, so let's take this first one right here. Okay, first thing that we're going to do in order that we can solve for x here, we're missing the x, is to change this to its exponential form because from there it would be quick to, we can already determine it really quick. So if you have, if you change this to exponential form, so that would be two to the third power is equal to x. So how, that would this means that if you multiply 2 times 2 times 2, so this is actually 2 times 2 times 2, and that's 2 to the third, and which is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So our x here is 8. And this should make sense because if we have here, um, if we set up the log version for this, which the x now is 8, so we have solved it that it's 8. So if we have 2 down here, and we got an 8 here, the one that we solved, let's see if that is equal to 3, and that is equal to 3. Okay, so let's move on to the next example here. So we solve for x again, so if we set this up to its exponential form, this would be x to the power 2 is equal to 25. So what should be that number? So if you square it, it's 25. X is 5. So 5 squared is 25. And let's have the next one right here. So change this to its exponential form. 3 to the power X is equal to 81. So how many times do we multiply 3? So that would be our X is... Four. That means three times three times three times three, or four times of uh, three times uh, three times three times three times three is eighty-one. 
Let's move on to the next example here. We have one thing that we need to remember that if we get a negative exponent to make it positive, we uh, put it in the denominator and it becomes a positive. So b to the exponent negative c is actually equal to 1 over b to the positive exponent to the, uh, to the positive c. Let's have an example to see how this works. So changing this to exponential form, this would come out 3 to the power negative 2 is equal to x. Okay, so I set it up based on the logarithmic form right here. Now, how do we simplify this using the using the uh, rule that we have over here? So this can be rewritten as 1 over 3 squared. And so this can still be um, simplified further. 1 over 3 squared would be 1 over... 9. So then our x is 1 over 9. So let's see if we plug this into the calculator. Let's see if the answer is correct. So if we have, um, let's set up the ma uh, let's set up the log here. So that is a uh, base of 3. And then our x was 1 over 9. So 1 divided by 9. And so the answer is negative 2. So x is 1 over 9. Now let's move on to the second example here. Okay, so changing this to exponential, this would come out 5 to the exponent x is equal to 1 over 125. And uh, if we simplify 1 over 125 with a, a positive exponent, that would be 1 over 5 to the third, that means 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So changing this to with, uh, the one with the negative exponent, so it's match up with this. So this is actually using this one up here. So that is 5 to the negative 3. And so this two are a match, which means that our x, since the base are the same, our x is negative 3. So let's see if this would work over here on the calculator. So let's set up the log here. So let's set up the uh, log base for that. So the base was 5, and that is 1 divided by 125. The answer should be a negative 3, and it is a negative 3. Okay, so let's have the last one. So we have x to the power negative 4 equals... So... 1 over 16. So let's figure out what number this is so that we have a, a six, oh, to the power of 4. So that would be 1 over 2 to the power 4. So 2 times 2 is uh, 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So then we can change this um, so to 2 to the exponent negative 4. From here, we can see that our x, since they have the same exponent, our x is actually positive 2. So our x is 2. And let's check using the calculator. So that is, um, uh, let's set up the log here. So that is, the base here is 2, the one that we solved. And then that's 1 over 16. And so our answer should be a negative 4 and it is a negative four. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.